What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. We're going to review this Marvel trailer. We're going to talk about the questions that they left and potential answers. Before we do that, plus sevens of sexy as hell reviewing Marvel. I'm ready to get into this one. Let's watch this trailer one more time and then talk about questions that they didn't answer and also talk about things that they did answer. Let's go. This thing on? Hey, Miss Ponce. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. That'll be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. It's always you. Thanos did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. We met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. Got job really big. Is this an old message? Ant Man, Ant Man. I know you know. I know you know that. It's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? Well, let's first talk about some of the questions. How? When we last saw Tony Stark, Iron Man, he was on Titan. Now we're seeing him drifting in space in a spaceship. How did he get to that point? Everybody that was on Titan did not die from the snapshot. We see Gamora's sister. She looks like she's in a spaceship or somewhere, so where the hell is she going? Those are questions I wanna know. Another thing I would like to know, what made them decide to focus on just these characters? You saw Iron Man, Gamora's sister, you saw Scarlett Johansson, you saw Captain America, you saw Ant-Man. And the fact that they, Scarlett Johansson and Captain America are sitting there, Black, um, Black Widow, excuse me, are sitting there discussing what their next move is, then Ant-Man all of a sudden pops up, leads you to believe they thought he was dead somehow. Now we all seen the last Ant-Man movie and we know he got trapped in that vortex. This all tells us that the energy he collected in there is gonna lead to them doing time travel. So when they do finally catch up with Jeremy Renner, who is playing Ronan, I'm assuming that that is a time war. I'm gonna assume that that's not right now. They went through some kind of a time portal and they found him and they're trying to gather everybody together to make this thing happen. When we last seen Captain America, when we last seen Black Widow, we all seen them standing there with Thor, with Rocket, with Bruce Banner, and they didn't show us anything going on with them. They showed us Thor 
and it looked like he was in one of those Asgardian prisons somewhere with his head down, distraught, destroyed, and I'm assuming everybody that survived is distraught and destroyed because they lost half their friends. The title is Endgame. You know, we've been wondering what was the title of this movie going to be for a long time, and we finally got it. But what do they want us to believe when they say Endgame? Is it the end game for the Avengers themselves? Is it the end game for Thanos? A lot of questions. Number one, who's gonna save Iron Man? With the space scene, there's only two possible people that can save him. Either it's gonna be Captain Marvel or it's gonna be Thor. My guess, probably Captain Marvel, probably. But you never know, Thor has got Stormbreaker, he can go through time, he can do all that stuff. And we're gonna just have to find out and get these questions answered as they drop more trailers. This was true Marvel trailer, a teaser that left you with a lot of questions and very few answers. You guys leave me comments on what you think is going on, what you think some of the questions, the answers to the questions are we discuss in this trailer review. And I might do a further breakdown but I wanted to get this one out there because I was so pumped. Y'all know I done watched this trailer about 50, 11 times. You know how we do, Marvel to the end. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let me know what you think about this trailer, the questions, which direction they're gonna go in with this movie, and who are we gonna see on their next trailer that they drop? They're probably gonna sprinkle in you know they're going to do a Hulk in there sooner or later, so I'm waiting for that. But until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.